If you're working with map data and you want to save the attribute table as a spreadsheet, it's really easy in QGIS to do this. In this example, I've got a US National Parks map layer showing the national parks. If I open the table, we can see the information, including the name of the national park and lots of other columns. I'm going to imagine that I want to share this with a colleague just as a spreadsheet. So to do this, I will right click the layer. I'll go to export and then save features as. And when you do this, you could choose to save it in a different format like GeoPackage or GeoJSON or something like a spreadsheet format like Microsoft Excel. To do that, I will go to the format section at the top, change it from GeoPackage to XLSX, so Microsoft Office format. And then I decide here that I don't want to change the fields, but I want to remove some of them. I don't want to share all of them. I want to get rid of that object ID. So you can choose to export all columns or you can just choose to remove some. And the reason this is quite useful is because sometimes when you share data with somebody, in QGIS, you might have loads of technical columns that might not make sense to the person you're sharing it with. So that's what I've done here. The last thing I'll do before I decide where to save it is the box at the bottom that says add saved file to map. I'm going to untick that because I don't want to add it to the map. Now I just need to click on the little button to browse to where I want to save this to, which I will do now. I'm going to save it in this folder. I'll call it National Parks US. I'll click Save. And that's fine. It's going to be a Office Excel document. And then I can just click Save or OK, actually, in this case. And what happens is you'll usually see a green bar with a little hyperlink to the file. So I'll click on that and it opens on my other screen. So I'll double click it to open the Excel file. And there we have just a simple spreadsheet of the data that was in our shape file. I'll just highlight it all. I'll go to format and I'll click auto fit column width so we can see it all. So that's how you can quickly export an Excel file from a map layer like a shape file or a geo package in QGIS.